Okay, from the Southeast Asia area, we get a very, very beautiful animal called the Toke Gecko. This is a wall climber. This is about as arboreal as you could get. These animals can go straight up, even the smoothest of surfaces. If you could get a look at his toe pads here, they have little ridges on them and little hairs on top of that. And they literally can adhere to almost any type of a surface. So you'll often see toke geckos in trees, but around humanity in, in areas where people live, you'll see toke geckos everywhere, inside of homes, clinging to the sides of houses. They move right in and make themselves at home, munching on all the bugs in your house if you live in Southeast Asia. A claw on the end uh, finishes the grasping ability and he, I, I can almost feel, the, it's almost like a glue texture to the front of his foot. The, the back of the animal is absolutely spectacularly colored and uh, occasionally a, a male toke, they get their names because they make a sound sort of like toke. It almost sounds like the word toke when they call at night. Females don't do that, but the males do. And you'll hear them more than see them if you visit that part of the world. The skin texture on them and the, the coloration of them has led to a, a lot of fascinating, I think, wrong facts about them. They're sought after to the point right now that they're almost becoming extinct in the wild. They're very popular in the pet trade for some reason, but in nature, uh, in those areas of the world, people have uh, taken them out in dramatic numbers because somewhere along the line, Chinese medicine, uh, the Toke gecko's body got uh, they got the notion that it's an aphrodisiac of some kind, that eating toke geckos will uh, lead to virility in men. And it hasn't proven scientifically to be the case, yet they are uh, hunting them to the point of extinction in their native area of Southeast Asia. We see them in, in videos and food markets where there's thousands and thousands of them being sold uh, to people for that purpose. So that's a terrible thing for a beautiful animal like this to meet its demise because of a rumor, much like rhinoceros horns do the same thing, rhinoceroses are getting hunted almost to extinction for that same reason. I think someone's gotta introduce these guys to Viagra.